Welcome back. We're doing another construction here. We're labeling this construction number six if we're just kind of going in order. And for this construction, we are trying to draw a perpendicular line or perpendicular to a line. So we want to draw a line that's perpendicular to this one from a point not on the line. So we have point P here that is not on this line. We'll call it line L. Point P is not on line L. We want to figure out how can we draw the line that's perpendicular to line L through point P. One of the ways you could use this is, let's say they wanted you, or someone, the book, quiz, test, asked you, what is the distance from point P to line L? Well, you should remember from earlier in your uh, geometry studies that the distance from a point to a line is the length of the perpendicular segment connecting that point to that line. So what that means is if we can find the line that's perpendicular through point P to line L, we can measure the distance to figure out how far is P from L. So with that said, let's uh, take a look at this. And again, you're going to be using a compass to do this construction. All of your constructions are pretty much going to revolve around a compass. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your point of your compass and you're going to want to stretch your compass out so that the distance from point P on your compass is a little bit further or is further than line L. So if you were to draw an arc, you're going to end up getting two intersection points here across line L. So I'm going to make that line a little darker so it's easier to see. It's kind of hard for me to hold my hand so you can see the whole thing. But you had your point or your center of your compass on point P and you struck an arc that intersected line L at two different points. So you have an intersection here and you have an intersection right about here. <clears throat> so what we've done is we've created a point, a point, and then this point P, if you draw kind of dotted lines here from point P to each of those intersections, these segments are going to be the same length because this is a radial distance. You basically have said this is part of a circle and the distance from the center of the circle to any point on the circle is the same length. So again, we've created an isosceles triangle here and this point right here is going to be the midpoint between your base or the midpoint of your base. So if you draw a line straight through here, that's going to be on the midpoint. So with that said, that should remind you of construction number four where we drew the perpendicular bisector of a segment. So if we want to cut this segment in half, we can use the same methods of construction that we did before. So starting on your one point of intersection, make sure you have an arc length that's over halfway. Strike an arc below. Go to your other point. Use that as a center. Make sure your point sticks. Strike an arc again below. So now what we have is another intersection point that should be along the center of that segment. So when you draw a line connecting point P with that intersection of arcs, this line right here should end up being perpendicular to line L. So let's say I'm asking you to figure out what is the length or the distance from point P to line L. This is where that line meets. This is our perpendicular. You, th this point, if they were asking for the distance, you could take out a ruler and actually measure it. So let's say we wanted to actually do that. You'd say, all right, measure it up. If I want it in centimeters, then you'll measure in centimeters. If we want it in inches, you measure in inches. This would be one, two, three and a half, three point five, six, seven. So about 3.7 centimeters is the distance from point P to line L. So that may be one way you would apply this. Or you could say, let's say I wanted to construct a square starting at point P that went down to line L. So I want to use line L as one of the sides of my square. Now I have this length right here would be a side of my square. So then you construct some other perpendicular over here and over here to get a square that uses line L as one of your sides. Those are the different types of things you may have to do for the construction. Really. <clears throat> This should be an, just an extension of what we did before. So just to run through it again real quickly, if you have some point not on a line, when you're doing this construction, make sure the big thing is this first arc right here. We have a segment that's a little bit longer than the distance from the point to the line. 
strike arcs making two intersection points. Now make sure your compass is over halfway. Make an arc below. Do the same thing on the other side. So you've created another intersection point here. Now all you have to do is connect the dot with the intersection of your arcs. Voila! Another perpendicular line through a point not on the line.